All right, so concerns about fasting. There are a lot of concerns people have about fasting, so I want to address a few. If you have more, send me a message. Maybe I can address it for you, but I really want everybody to be able to participate. So here's some of the concerns of fasting. One is, I work a lot, I, I'll be weak, I, I won't be able to fast because I have a busy schedule, I do manual labor. Well, I do have an option as part of the cleanse, if you watch the food video, about how you can do some healthy fats, some olives, some olive oil, some avocado. I mean, they're technically fruit anyway, right? And you can do maybe a little plant-based protein, and that can easily sustain you through any kind of a cleanse. I mean, that's just really a, a good, clean, healthy diet. Um, so you can do it, you can work a schedule. I mean, I know people have juice fasted. I've juice fasted and work a full schedule. So it just depends on you and where you're at. Another common concern is weight. And this is probably the biggest thing I hear. Well, I'm already thin and I'm gonna lose more weight. Well, I'm already thin and I'm probably gonna lose more weight and that's okay. I always tell people you have to focus on your health, not on your weight. Focus on your health, not on your weight. I mean, we have this medical system where they're looking at numbers and percentiles and freaking par parents out because their child's in the fifth percentile or whatever that means. I mean, we have health issues. And one of the reasons people are thin is because they have malabsorption, they can't absorb nutrients, they got all kinds of congestion toxicity issues going on. You're not going to get healthy by eating lots of carbohydrates and bread and ice cream. And I seriously know doctors, I have people who have told me that their doctors told them to eat ice cream every night so they can gain weight. I mean, what, what have we come to with no understanding of the human body? So I really don't you know, want you to be concerned about your weight. I want you to be concerned about getting healthy because when your body's clean and healthy, the weight will come back naturally. Another concern people have about fasting is how am I gonna get my protein? How am I gonna get my calcium? I'm just gonna be honest with you, you don't need to worry about it. Fruits and vegetables have amino acids. That's what your body really needs and it really uses. I mean, look at gorillas and chimpanzees and all kinds of other animals out in nature. They don't eat animal meat and they still have super strong muscles. And so we can get lots of nutrients from plants and you can actually live for a long time without protein. Your body will not, this is a myth about fasting, your body will not um, uh, use proteins and eat away your muscle uh, like it's commonly heard. Your body will burn up sugars, it'll burn up fat before it even attempt to have to eat away muscle. Now that is starvation. We're not starving, we're fasting, we're cleansing. There's a huge difference. So you don't need to worry about protein, especially during a 30 day or a three month cleanse. This is a three month challenge. You don't have to worry about protein. Now if you want, you can take amino acids, perfect aminos, a great product. You can get plant-based amino acids. If you really feel like you need protein for X, Y, Z reasons, take a plant-based protein like the Vega protein. So that's a good thing to do. Uh, another current is the, the calcium. I think that whole thing came about because of the uh, American Dairy Association saying, oh my gosh, you need calcium. Like, if you don't drink milk, you won't have strong bones and your child, children won't grow. I mean, what a great advertising campaign they did. You certainly do not need dairy at all for any reason whatsoever. Um, that's just uh, kind of a myth perpetuated by the American Dairy Association. You get plants from, uh, calcium, I'm sorry, from plants. I mean, that's how it's always been. We get all of our minerals, all of our nutrients from plants. God told us in Genesis 1:29 to eat all seed-bearing plants, and those shall be your food. And if that was to be our food, then obviously he's going to take care of all of the needs of the body in the area of vitamins and minerals. So I hope that helped you with a couple of the concerns or what I call obstacles that people have from cleansing and fasting. And again, if you have more, let me know. We'll try to address them. Oh, one more concern about fasting that I almost forgot, which is one of the biggest ones next to weight that I hear a lot, the concern over weight loss, is blood sugars, blood sugars. I can't fast because of my blood sugars. If I skip a meal, I get weak, I get tired, I get dizzy, I'm starving. I believe, my opinion, but this is what I've seen, is that people with adrenal fatigue and hormonal imbalances and people that have malabsorption and don't digest and process and absorb nutrients properly and have pancreas issues, they struggle with having to eat all the time. They struggle with blood sugar imbalances because we're designed to be resilient. There's normally in history times of feast and famine and people would go long periods of time without eating. And if you can't go a few hours without eating, that should be a signal to you that something's wrong. So when you cleanse and heal your body, you restore your digestion, you strengthen your hormonal system, you should be able to go longer periods of time without food. 
I mean, people water fast, people juice fast, and they don't have any issues with this. So if you do have issues with this, that's okay. You need to balance yourself. Now, a couple of ways, I'm gonna give you three tips for balancing your blood sugars and still maintaining a cleansing and a fasting type of diet. One is fruit. If you eat fruit on a regular basis, if you eat fruit every hour or two, you are going to keep your blood sugars up. That's natural, simple sugars that gives you energy that makes you feel good. Now your blood sugars might drop again, you might have to eat more fruit, that's okay. But that's one way to maintain yourself through the fast. And fruit is very cleansing and very healing, so it's okay to do that. A second tip is fats. So I mentioned that if you need to do some fats, that's okay. Do some olives, do some avocado, do a few hemp seeds, do some soaked sunflower seeds or some soaked pumpkin seeds. Now don't overdo it because again, we're focusing on cleansing and you don't want to overdo fats when you're cleansing. But that will really help balance and maintain your blood sugars by getting a few healthy fats in there. A little quarter of an avocado in a smoothie whoosh, will get you for a few hours related to blood sugars. The third tip is protein. Now we're not gonna do animal protein when we're cleansing and fasting. So you can do plant protein. Vega has a pea-based protein. Maximum Vibrance by Vibrant Health is a pea-based plant protein. There's all kinds of pea-based and different plant proteins out there. I like the pea ones the best, but there's other plant proteins. There's hemp protein, that's a really good source. Spirulina and chlorella are very high in protein, so you can eat a lot of spirulina and chlorella tablets. You can get protein from plant foods, and again, that works perfectly fine for blood sugars. So I don't want people to have any reason not to be able to cleanse fast, heal, and get better, because most people know they need it, and a lot of people have struggled with it because of the blood sugars in their past. So those are all the reasons, all the obstacles and stumbling blocks that people have that I know of, that I can think of right now, to cleansing. And so I want you to be able to do this with us. I want you to be set free. I want you to find healing, and I want you to encounter God in the process. If there's any others, please let me know. God bless.